this speech that will you cover please on monday oh please thank you the time is over already so now it's a <coughs> private member business private member bills uh, honorable members just your attention please during the private members legislative business day of the last session on the 3rd december 2021 <coughs> professor manoj kumar jha member had opposed without giving any prior notice the motion moved by sri kj alphonse member for leave to introduce its private members bill namely the constitution amendment bill 2021 amendment of preamble he had argued inter alia that preamble is part of the basic structure of the constitution and the bill may not be allowed for introduction he had also referred to rule 62 2 of the rules of procedure and contended that such bill which did not have the <coughs> previous sanction or recommendation of the president cannot be introduced in the house it was clarified on that day by me that rule 67 of the rules of procedure states that if a motion for leave to introduce a bill is opposed the chairman after permitting if he thinks fit a brief explanatory statement from the member who moves and from the member who opposes the motion may without further debate put the question for the decision of the house it was also informed that a decision on the motion for leave to introduce a bill had to be taken by the house and not by the chair however on a request made by the minister of state for parliamentary affairs and after taking the sense of the house the introduction of the bill was deferred preamble is part of the constitution as and as per article 368 of the constitution parliament may in exercise of its constituent power amend by way of addition variation or repeal any provision of the constitution and a bill for the purpose can be introduced in either house of the parliament there are number of instances in past when private members constitution amendment bills to amend the preamble have been introduced in both the houses of parliament and they are on records as already clarified by me on that day that is on 3rd december 2021 if the introduction of a bill is opposed on the ground of legislative competence of the council the council decides the same and not the chair there are number of rulings given by the chair in this house on this issue taking the same stand in the past i would like to quote a couple of them <clears throat> on 4th september 1959 the then deputy chairman rajya sabha gave the following ruling and i quote sri bhupesh gupta had has introduced a bill for amending the presentation of the people's act 1951 the law minister raised a point of order that the bill is ultra virus of the constitution as it indirectly seeks to amend the constitution by introducing a provision for recall under the guise of disqualification under the representation of the people act this ob objection was not taken at the introduction stage but i still feel that there is a strong force in the objection raised by the law minister and it may amount to an amendment to the constitution but the chair has never taken the responsibility of deciding the ultra viruses or otherwise of a bill there have been several decisions of the chair in this connection in fact on 23rd april 1951 when a, when an objection was taken in the provisional parliament to the forward context regulation bill that it was ultra viruses of the constitution the speaker observed the position which i had made clear was that the question of ultra viruses will not be decided by the chair but that it may be left to the house if it comes to the conclusion that it is ultra viruses the house may reject the bill if the house accepts the bill for consideration then the party aggrieved has his remedy in the supreme court or other courts therefore i said it was no use going in detail into questions of constitutional niceties because after all these are things which can best be argued by lawyers and it is not proper to take this the time of the house over this long discussion of niceties again in 1953 when the constitutionality of the legislative assembly prevention of disqualification bill was raised it has been observed in all these matters the speaker has never taken upon himself the responsibility of deciding the point of order when it is constitutional or otherwise it is for the house to take this also into consideration in voting down the bill or accepting it 
Under the circumstances, I leave it to the House to accept or not to accept the bill, unquote. In another occasion, on the 11th May 1963, the then chairman, Rajya Sabha, gave the following ruling, and I quote, I thank the honorable members for the assistance they have given me in com <coughs> coming to a conclusion. Prima facie, I think we can go on with the discussion, but I do not wish to give any ruling. Because in the central legislature, it has been the accepted practice for the chair not to take upon itself the responsibility of deciding whether the House has the legislative competence to entertain a bill or whether a bill is ultra When any such question is raised, the usual practice has been to leave the matter for the decision of the House. The main reason for the adoption of this course is that a question relating to the legislative competence of the House or the constitutionality of the proposed legislation often involves much difficulty and complexity, and it is the function of the courts and ultimately of the Supreme Court to decide, to decide such a question. The presiding officer should not arrogate to himself the functions of the court, especially as he has not facilities or material on which to come to a satisfactory decision. It is the sole privilege and duty of the House to decide every question that arises on a motion moved by a member. So if the matter is left to the House to decide, the House may reject the bill. If it is on the, of the view that the bill is ultra viruses, if, the how, if however the House accepts the bill, the party aggrieved will still have the remedy in the courts and ultimately in the Supreme Court. This question came before the central legislatures on various occasions, and the accepted practice has been as, started, as stated by me, unquote. As regards the objection raised by Professor Manoj Kumar Jha, under Rule 62-2, the bill does not have the previous sanction or recommendation of the President. I may clarify here that there is no such requirement for introduction of the bill under reference. Therefore, there is no question of any doubt on the administration admissibility of the bill for introduction seeking to amend the preamble to the Constitution. Be that as it may, the bill has been listed in today's agenda for introduction. The House may decide about the manner of disposal of the motion. When the motion for introduction of the proposed Constitution Amendment Bill 2021 amendment of preamble is moved by Sri K.J. Alphonse. Thank you. Sir, I do not think that the House itself also has any mandate or is competent to amend the preamble of the Constitution. Yes, Neither the Council of States nor the House of the People. Nor the House of the People. So it's very clear that what is enshrined there, it's not a question of tinkering with the basic structure. The umpteen judgments of the Supreme Court also on that, that that cannot be. And various governments if they have come up with any constitutional amendment which has been challenged and questioned, they have been cast aside by the Supreme, Honorable Supreme Court. Here we are talking of the very preamble of the Constitution. So I, I would say, rather urge the member concerned also, that in the larger interest of this country where questions are being raised about the integrity of our commitment to the Indian Constitution and its preamble, this should not be entered. Thank you. Thank you, Mani Ananji. Please. Uh, yes, please. Point here, sir. So we also know that two changes were brought in the preamble to the Constitution by the 42nd Amendment in, the, in, in this country, sir. Thank two you. words, socialist and secular, were inserted into the Thank preamble. You. So Thank it you. is not that the preamble cannot be changed. Thank you. Mani Sukhendu Sekharaj. Sir, I support the views expressed by Mr. Anand Sharmaji and Manoj Jhaji. Uh, in Keshavananda Bharati case, the Honorable Supreme Court, they decided inter alia that sovereignty of parliament is there, but the supremacy of the constitution cannot be ruled out. So, whether it is parliament or any other constitutional or statutory authority, they have to abide by the constitution. Since the point raised by Anand Sharmaji and the other speaker who has said about the constitutional amendment, that is altogether a different thing, and it happened long back before the judgment delivered in Keshavananda Bharati case. Absolutely. Therefore, that 
the judgment of Keshavananda Bharati is still subsisting, subsisting, and I would request the chair not to allow this. Mani uh, Sadasagar, please. Sir, the question I think here is that whether we can add a sentence to the preamble or not, but whether the basic structure of the constitution can be amended or not. The country believes, the constitution believes that these words is a part of the basic structure that can be challenged. Supreme Court and the parliament many a times told about that. Now a time has come when somebody is coming here to change the constitution and the basic structure. That Thank can't you. be allowed. <laughs> yes, Abdul Wahab ji. Uh, you are the last speaker now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will close it. Um, please, no. no. Please, please, please. No, 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 it's not open. This, please. this one, amendment Briefly. of constitution. Okay, the bill came. Where is the proposer? Thank you. Sitting in the central hall. Thank you. Thank you. Mani Sadasagar. Chair ki position is kya hai? Mene clear ki kai ruling se. And I have already clarified, quoted, 4th September 1959 ruling. Number two, yes, again in 1953, Legislative Assembly Prevention of Disqualification Bill, such matters were settled here by ruling. Again, on 11th May 1963, the ruling was very clear. So far, a chair's role is concerned. So, chair, the House can decide or the court can decide, not the chair. That is. Please, please take your seat. No, I have not allowed. Let us close this discussion. Let us close this discussion, Amani Anand. I am, I am, I am moving. Please, please. You have already availed your occasion. Please. I have already clarified the position. One sentence. Sir, everyone sitting here, whether it's the government, the ministers, honorable chair, and all of us have sworn by this constitution as members when we are sworn in. Thank you. Can Thank we you. then change the preamble? Thank you. Manya Sadasagan, ye sare jo hamne rulings court ke ye under constitution hi sare provisions yahan ruling me diye gaye hain since 1951. So I am not going on detail. Private members legislative business bills for introduction. The Uniform Civil Code in India Bill 2020. Dr. Kirodi Lal Meena. Dr. Kirodi Lal Meena. Just, just, just wait for, wait. Yes, please. 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 Dr. Kirodi Lal Meena. Not present. Since he is not present, not moved, I am not going to allow any discussion on this. Yes, you had. Dr. Amar Patnayak. The Constitution Amendment Bill 2020 Amendment of Preamble and Article 51A. Dr. Amar Patnayak to move for leave to introduce the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020. So I, Dr. Amar Patnayak, moves, move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend the Constitution of India for insertion of the word Ahimsa in the preamble to the Constitution. The question is that <coughs> leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Dr. Amar Patnak, please. I move, I introduce the mill. The Lokpal and Lokayuk's Amendment Bill 2021. Dr. Amar Patnak to move for leave to introduce the Lokpal and Lokayuk's Amendment Bill 2021. So I, Dr. Amar Patnaik, rise to move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend the Lokpal and the Lok Ayuktas Act 2013. The question is that <coughs> leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Eyes always have it. Dr. Amar Patnak, please. I, 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 I introduce the bill. The Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Admission Amendment Bill 2021. Dr. Amar Patnak to move for leave to introduce the Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Admission Amendment Bill 2021. 
So I rise to introduce a bill further to amend the Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Admissions Act 2006 to provide for reservation for students from government schools in central educational institutions. <coughs> the question is, <coughs> leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Dr. Amar Patnaik. Sir, I introduce the bill. The Epidemic Disease Age Prevention, <coughs> Preparedness and Management Bill 2021 Sri Derek O'Brien to move for leave to introduce the Epidemic Disease, disease Age Prevention, Preparedness and Management Bill 2021. Sri Derek O'Brien ji, not absent. The Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2021, Dr. Prashant Nanda to move for leave to introduce the Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2021. Sir, I rise to move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend the Indian Penal Code of Criminal Procedure, 1973. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Dr. Prashant Nandaji. I introduce the bill. Thank you. The Code of Criminal Procedure Amendment Bill 2021 Sri Subhas Chandra Singh to move for leave to introduce the Code of Criminal Procedure Amendment Bill 2021. Sri Subhas Chandra Singh, not present. Sri Subhas Chandra Singh, absent. Sri K.J. Alphonse to move for leave to introduce the Constitution Amendment Bill 2021. Sri K.J. Alphonse, absent. Dr. V. Sivdasan to move for leave to introduce the Constitution Amendment Bill 2021. Sir, I uh, move to move for leave to introduce a bill further uh, to amend Constitution of India. Uh, bill, uh, Constitution, bill 221 Amendment of the Preamble. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. <laughs> I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Dr. Sivdashan. I introduce the bill, sir. Thank you. The Right to Health Bill 2021. Professor Manoj Kumar Jha to move for leave to introduce the Right to Health Bill 2021. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir. I move for leave to introduce a bill to provide for health as a fundamental right to all citizens and to ensure equitable access and maintenance of a standard of physical and mental health conducive to living of a, li uh, living of a life in dignity and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Professor Manoj Kumar Jha. Sir, thank you. I introduce the bill. The, the Indian Penal Code Amendment Bill 2021, Sri Elamaram Karimji to move for leave to introduce the Indian Penal Code Amendment Bill 2021. Thank you, Deputy Chairman. I, Elamaram Karim, to move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend Indian Penal Code 1860. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Sri Ella Maram Karim ji. I introduce the bill. Thank you. <coughs> the Labor Courts Repeal Bill 2021 Sri Elamaram Karimji to move for leave to introduce the Labour Courts Repeal Bill 2021. Sir, I move to leave to introduce a bill to repeal certain enactment related to Labour Court. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Sri Elamaram Karimji. I introduce the bill. The Council of Climate Change Bill 2021, 
श्रीमती प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी जी टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द काउंसिल ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन Thank you, Chairman Sir. I rise to move for leave a bill to provide for the establishment of the Council as a centre and in each state and union territory for climate change action and the matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Thank you. The question is that leave be granted to reduce the bill. Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Sri Mati Priyanka Chaturvedi ji. I introduce the bill, sir. Thank, Thank you. <coughs> the Epidemic Diseases Amendment Bill 2021, Sri Mati Priyanka Chaturvedi ji, to move for leave to introduce the Epidemic Diseases Amendment Bill 2021. Sir, I rise to move for leave a bill further to amend the Epidemic Diseases Act to keep in mind the significance of clear and consistent public health emergency law. Thank the, you, sir. Thank you. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Sri Mati Priyanka Chaturvedi ji. I introduce the bill, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. The Darjeeling Sports University Bill 2021. Sri Mati Santa Chetri to move for leave to introduce the Darjeeling Sports University Bill 2022. Sri Mati Santa ji. From Lok Sabha. Thank you, thank Please. you, sir. I, Sri Mati Santa Chetri, to move the move for leave to introduce the bill to establish and incorporate the Darjeeling Sports University in the state of West Bengal. Thank you, sir. The, <coughs> the question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. श्रीमती सांता छेत्री जी यस सर आई इंट्रोड्यूस द बिल थैंक यू द क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया बिल 2022 श्री प्रताप सिंह बाजवा जी टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया बिल 2022 एब्सेंट द विक्टिम इंपैक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिल 2022 श्री प्रताप सिंह बाजवा जी टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द विक्टिम इंपैक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिल 2022 नॉट प्रेजेंट एब्सेंट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 सब्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 168 एंड ओमिशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 169 डॉक्टर फौजिया खान टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2022 सब्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 168 एंड ओमिशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 169 Chairman sir i seek to move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend the constitution of india article 168 and the omission of article 169 thank you the question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye those against will please raise their hands and say no i think the eyes have it the eyes have it the eyes have it dr fauzia khan ji sir i introduce the bill thank you The Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2022, Dr. Fauzia Khan, to move for leave to introduce the Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2022. Sir, I rise to move for leave to introduce a bill further to amend the Indian Penal Code 1860 and the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973, sir. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. <coughs> Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Dr. Fauzia Khan ji, sir, I introduce the bill. Thank you. The victims of acid attacks, rehabilitation, support, and health care bill 2022. Dr. Fauzia Khan to move for leave to introduce the victims of acid attacks, rehabilitation, support, and health care bill 2022. Sir, I rise to move for leave to introduce a bill to ensure proper rehabilitation and relief to victims of acid attacks and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill. Those in favour will please raise their hands and say aye. Those against will please raise their hands and say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Dr. Fauzia Khan ji. Sir, I introduce the bill. 
द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अमेंडमेंट ऑफ द सेवेंथ शेड्यूल श्री पी विल्सन टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अमेंडमेंट ऑफ द सेवेंथ शेड्यूल श्री पी विल्सन थैंक यू डेप्टी चेयरमैन सर इन दर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स द स्टेट्स पावर टू लेजिस्लेट ऑन एजुकेशन इंक्लूडिंग टेक्निकल एजुकेशन मेडिकल एजुकेशन एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज वॉज टेक इन अवे फ्रॉम लिस्ट टू बाई कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट एंड सेम वॉज केप्ट इन लिस्ट थ्री द बिल सिक्स टू रेस्टोर एंड पार्टीशन द पावर ओवर दी सब्जेक्ट्स पैरली बिटवीन द स्टेट एंड द सेंट्रल फॉलोइंग द ट्रू स्पिरिट ऑफ कॉपटिव फेडरलिज्म फॉर दैट पर्पज आई रेस टू मूव फॉर लीव टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ बिल further to amend the constitution of india namely the seventh schedule thank you people sanjeev the question is that leave be granted to reduce the bill those in favor will please raise their hands and say aye aye those against will please raise their hands and say no i think the eyes have it the eyes have it the eyes have it sri p wilson ji thank you to the house and the chairman i introduce the bill thank you